Hello everybody, I'm Joel. We are Silver Arrow Cars and this video is something that we decided was worth doing. Obviously not hard, but not something that we typically do for a lot of our auctions. We have our 1968 BMW 1600 GT ending in about 24 hours. Uh, we have scanned this document and uploaded it to the auction, but I wanted to show you and explain a little bit and talk about what it is. So you'll see this document in our uh, scans in the auction, in the photos. This is the original registration for our 68-1600 GT. It was delivered new in uh, Manching, Germany, which is about 100 kilometers west of the Dingofling, Ding, Dingofling, however you pronounce it, plant uh, in Germany where the car was built. Uh, and the car stayed there through its three owners right up until 2019. So this is the original registration issued to the car in 1968 to chassis number W001621. Uh, that is our matching numbers car that we are auctioning off. And I'm just gonna flip you through this document. So this is an original German document. You can see at the top there, that is the original uh, first license plate issued to the car. And then the second and third owners are also documented inside here. And that is the license plate for those next two owners. So I'm going to slide around and just kind of walk you through the document. So we flip to the first page. And you'll see here, there is your original uh, license plate. The car was sold and delivered new April 10th, 1968 in German Germany. Uh, this was delivered to Hermine or Hermine <laughs> Ritter. Uh, also in this information, it declares what her uh, profession was and she was a dentist. Uh, delivered new. And then you will see registered now to the second owner, uh, May 8th, 1970. Um, this gentleman, if you can remind me, was a, Lose, a, a federal clerk. A federal clerk. Uh, so federal employee uh, and then next registered in January of 1971 um, to Frank Skodnik. Now Scott, Frank Skodnik was the last owner and was the owner from 1971 until 2019 when Oldenzal Classics purchased the car and then began the rotisserie restoration and rebuild of the car. So it sat in his ownership from 1971 to 2019 that is impressive indeed and very cool and also also probably explains why this original document still is with the car today so going to the next page this is where you will see some data on the car down at the bottom here you can see the stamp from april 10th 1968 uh, it shows the chassis number of course bmw's information at the top uh, it shows uh, the weight of the car it shows 105 horsepower at 6,000 RPM. So new purchaser of the car, don't be scared to uh, rev the car and find the horsepower in the top of the RPM range. It shows uh, weight for tires, tire sizes, just some really interesting information again, uh, and just very cool history that goes along with the car. Flipping to the last page where there's information entered, you can see BMW's stamp here, and then it was in fact stamped or delivered the April 10th, 1968. This information here just says essentially that this was built by BMW. It is a roadworthy car and is being delivered April 10th, 1968. Not sure whose signatures these are. They do look like they're ink, um, but obviously executives with BMW. And that is the entire document, but very, very cool that this still exists and essentially documents all documents all ownership of the car including ours being that this is owner one two three and then we know and we have the purchase document by Oldenzal Classics purchasing this car uh, from Frank Skodnik into their ownership and then from Oldenzal it came to Canada and that's when we got our hands on it and now we are selling it out of the US so there is an explanation on that document. Very cool that that still exists with the car today. It comes with the car. Um, yeah, very, very interesting. 
numbers matching rotisserie restored car with its original history and documentation of ownership. Good luck in your bids. Thank you very much.